Dear listeners, we have in this week uh, Pashas Vayechi, we learn about the blessing that Yaakov Avinu gave to his grandchildren <coughs> Ephraim and Menashe. At the end of the blessing, Yaakov Avinu told them, At the end of the blessing, Yaakov Avinu told them that they will be, without the lotion, they'll be like fish. They'll multiply <coughs> like fish in the midst of the land. In the midst of the land. Now, the question is why? Did he have to say they will multiply like fish? That they, they, they use a very difficult expression. They'll be like fish in their multiplication. Why wouldn't it be sufficient to say that they will multiply? Why did he have to say like fish? And secondly, why did he add in the midst of the land? It's normal if you tell them to multiply, they'll multiply wherever they are. What's the reason for adding the words Bekeh of Oretz? No, it's normal that they are Bekeh of Oretz and that's where they're going to multiply. But part of the Yaakov, <coughs> part of the blessing is that Yosef said about Ephraim, Ki Ephrani elekim beretz onyi. God has made me uh, fruitful, or has made me flourish in the land of my affliction. Which means that even in the land of my affliction, he has made me prosper and flourish. Now the only way one can, uh, which means that on the one hand, he felt that he was in the land of my, of my affliction, and in that land he was flourishing, which means that he was separating himself from the environment, that the environment did not affect him, had no influence on him, because the only way to survive in the land of affliction and not to be affected by it is by creating a separation from his general environment and creating an environment or atmosphere of his own and be totally separated from the general environment. Because if he's not separated from the general environment, the environment will be too strong and will have too strong an influence on him. And it's impossible to prosper spiritually and uh, retain his identity in that uh, foreign environment. So the only way to do this is to create an environment on, for himself in that strange land, in the land of his affliction. So in that sense he's compared to fish, because fish also can live only in their own environment. Only when they have the water, which is their element, they can they survive. Otherwise they cannot survive. They need to create their own atmosphere and their own element, their own situation in order to be in order to survive. So that's why um, Yaakov gave them the brach and said they'll be like fish, which means they'll create their own environment wherever they are and will not be affected by the general atmosphere that is prevailing. And therefore it is that even be careful of even in the midst of the land when there's no water, they will create their own element in which they'll be able to survive. And even in the land of their affliction, wherever they are, They'll have their own life and they'll be able to survive and prosper and flourish in the environment that they create for themselves and they will not be touched or affected or influenced by the environment in general. Thank you very much and have a good Shabbos.